And here we are at the core booth with pro rider Eric Reinstra. Hey man, it's been good, good man. Yeah, yeah, good to see you guys again. Yeah, another year. So what's uh, what's new? What's new? what's exciting? Man, everything's exciting these days. We got kind of all new materials on everything, and just kind of making everything lighter, stronger, and lasting longer. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, start with some of the boards. Um, this is one of my personal favorites, the Choice. New for this year. We've got kind of the ABS sidewall, backed up by a carbon kind of layer and then you get into the polonia wood core um, we've upgraded the polonia to what we call polonia light uh, what that is is when they find the source material we have someone hand picking kind of the best cuts and the lightest cuts so the board's overall lighter uh, still got the uh, poplar uh, wood insert okay. reinforcement stainless steel marine grade inserts um, and yeah, just a really awesome kind of Nordic themed graphic yeah, this year. So very slick looking. So who, yeah. who, what type of rider wants to ride the choice? Yeah, so the, the choice, as the name suggests, is the rider that wants the choice between freestyle and maybe even some wake style. Uh, okay. It's got both sets of inserts. Um, so we have our straps, our proprietary uh, six and a half inch spread. All right. um, so this has a second set of inserts that are at six inch, so you can either put boots or, you know, whatever straps you want on it. So cool. you have the choice there. Um, moving on to kind of our bread and butter board, we got the carved Imperator. Um, this one's the Edition 7. It's got a lot of kind of upgraded things from last year. We still have the patented Cartan Carbon, uh, but this is Cartan 2. Uh, it's um, it's one continuous sheet. It doesn't have the weave or anything, which reduces a lot of weight. Um, you've also got the new Revo handle. So this is kind of a awesome little thing that gives you a little more options. If you twist the handle, it forces this apart, flattening the board and also adding stiffness. So if you want a little bit stiffer, a little bit flatter, get upwind better, get, get a little more planing speed, go flat. If you want to stay a little softer, get a little more more rocker in it just you know half a twist and you're there so super dynamic super fun and yeah carved you know started as a custom brand you can always order any carved you want kind of in any color any sizes any specs you want so definitely uh a what's good option the, for the every rider. Car, the shape. What's yeah, we've got kind of a uh, double concave, a little bit of a spine in the middle, and yeah, just real simple and smooth. The rail, it's kind of like a, a rounded rail in the middle, going to more of a sharp rail at the tips, so you get a nice smooth carve while still having the bite and the pop for um, for your freestyle and and um, edging. Cool. So yeah, that's it for our the new additions for the boards. We can move on to the yeah. to the kites. All right, so new for this year, we've got the Nexus 3. Um, the Nexus incorporates all our latest advancements in our material design. We have the Cortex 2 triple ripstop canopy, as well as the Exotex 2 Dacron for the leading edge. And we've switched to the Exotec light on the struts to kind of try to reduce some weight and um, give the kite kind of a faster overall feel. Um, the, the Cortex 2 still kind of the same triple rip stop that we had in the Cortex 1 but we've majorly upgraded the um, the coating like the the laminate coating um, gives it much more UV resistance a lot more water resistant kind of stays waterproof a bit longer yeah. and a lot less um, stretch resistant and just overall a crisper feel while also reducing weight so 
just major advancement there. Uh, the core, the Exotex for the Dacron, a lot lighter, a lot thinner, but also stiffer. So just nice. upgrades in every yeah. category that you can think of. And um, that gives the kite kind of the overall, just a crisper feel with the weight reduction in certain places. You just get faster and lighter and just feels better in your hands. And so The Nexus is, the, is like a three strut kind of yeah, yeah. So from wave to exactly. Freestyle so mo model wise, the Nexus fits in our lineup as kind of the Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Um, you've got riders out there on the foil using it. We use it in the waves. Um, I also use it for kite loops and freestyle unhook. It's pretty wow. much like a one kite wonder so is kite. So your go-to kite if you're yeah, traveling yeah. or yeah, if, if if I'm traveling on a single quiver of kites, I go Nexus for sure. Yeah. And yeah, it's been getting a lot of positive feedback and um, yeah, definitely for the the looping ability, it's it's getting popular. And I noticed there's you have some different colors. For yeah, different, yeah, uh, they've added um, they've added some nice blue and green. Green yeah. to the colors here. The, um, the XR has a little bit of orange and white, and uh, yeah, just kind of adding some highlights there, there as go. opposed to the traditional <laughs> black and white. So they'll Breaking probably out. continue that trend as we move forward. And yeah, mainly, mainly just kind of highlights. I think we'll yeah. mostly stay black and white. Yeah. And yeah, so the Nexus 3 is the first one that's going to have our X Text 2. Nice. Um, the XR last year came out with the Cortex too, so now we've kind of got the complete package moving forward. Um, cool. And yeah, definitely. And you were on a demo tour good. this summer. Yeah, yeah, I've been running the U.S. demo tour. Cool. It's uh. How was the feedback? Pretty much. Uh, yeah, we always get such great awesome. feedback on the products. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be back on it Where starting are you next year. Um, I'm mostly in Central Coast, California. Okay. Um, but yeah, with the demo tour, I'm pretty much covering the whole country over the year, and yeah. um, I've got some plans for some international travel this this fall as well. So, cool. still still moving moving quick. Nice. So yeah, it's been good. Well, you want to take us through the bar? Yeah, we can go check out some bars. All right. So yeah, we have the Sensor Three Bar. Uh, we came out with this bar last year. It's um, it's one of the made, most major upgrades we've made to the bar. We changed from the twist release to the uh, ISO compliant push release. So push release there. Also just the seat belt click back in. Um, same proprietary flagging system with the, um, the loop knot um, kind of pull system. Chicken stick is now kind of fixed to the chicken loop. Yeah. rather than being on the bungee and um, yeah still have the auto untwist you can now uh, stealth winders for winding the bar up also exposing the little plug that pops out so you pop that out spin that around now your bar is a little bit shorter gives yeah. you a little bit different feel if you want that so cool how yep. uh, those, those winders hide away like that. Yeah, it's so no so clean, so nice, yeah. And then still have above the bar trim, nice bungee. We've increased the width on this, so that stays a little bit better on the Velcro. And yeah, just a super simple, super clean. Um, you can also kind of pop, pop those off. Um, have a few options here also just to be able to replace any parts you need. You know, it all kind of comes apart. Um, every part can be replaced and uh, yeah, definitely. Hey, you, do you have a couple different versions of the sensor? Like, yeah, the so the or? sensor, um, we have the sen this is the sensor, um, this is kind of the standard one. Yeah. We also have a pro version that is going to be a carbon fiber bar right. and titanium lines, which are a much um, higher grade line. And then um, we also have this in a plus version, so it's going to give you some line length options. So we have 18 meter lines with a 4 meter and a 2 meter extension. Cool. So you could set those up 18, 20, 22, 24. And then when you, when you purchase a 15 meter or larger, so our light wind edition kites, they come with an additional 3 meter extension so that you can go 27 on those. Cool. But, yeah. Very exciting stuff. Thanks for taking yeah. us through that. Nope.
All right, we're here at the core booth at AWSI. I'm here with Steven Ackersteg, and uh, yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, same, man. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, he's going to take us through some of the uh, the boards. Yeah, so our lineup of uh, boards for this year didn't change much. I'm not sure if Eric already told you, but we have a two-year cycle on all the on all the boards. So for this year. We have three boards and they range from like your, your kind of groveler like board which works more for North Sea waves or more choppy waves to on the complete other side a full on high, yeah, a big wave board. You've probably seen the images or videos of Willow charging one eye Mauritius with that. So we'll start on this side, this is the Ripper. The Ripper is our general board that does pretty much everything. It's quite a classic shape, um, but what we did, we made it shorter with more of the width in the middle and a swallow tail. This makes that, especially on the smaller waves, you're going to have quite a lot of um, float and drive when the waves get a bit flatter, so you'll be able to go over the flat sections a lot more and use those smaller waves when riding, which is really cool. Like Fame, uh, Core is a brand that's from northern Germany, from an island in Fehmarn, and over there you get, yeah, on the good days you get shoulder high, but the period is like only four seconds. North Sea ain't that great either, and a board like this is just perfect for those conditions because it will bring you over the flat sections. Then I'll just go to my favorite board right here. This is the the Core 720, it's a very classic stubby board. It's a strapless freestyle board that does surprisingly well on the waves. It's my board of choice for waves up to like shoulder high. Due to the wider tail, also very good in those flatter waves. But because it's so short, you can really get it in the pocket, turn it in the pocket without it nose diving. It is a EPS epoxy construction, so it's very light, very hard. So I like the reactiveness of it. it it's, it's more, if you ride it in choppy conditions, you're gonna get way more feedback than you would with a, uh, with a PU board. But uh, I, I love the EPS epoxy boards and this is for me, could be my one board quiver almost. Not for the massive waves, but who, who really gets clean overhead waves that often? And on the right side, we Look have the, yeah, we can just lift it out. We have the green room. Uh, this is the board I take whenever I purely focus on wave riding. Uh, I always mix a lot of strapless freestyle in my riding. That's why I ride the 720 a lot. The green room is also an EPS epoxy board. Very reactive. You already see that in comparison to the Ripper, it's quite a lot narrower. Also, a very narrow pin tail. It's, this board is made to go fast and if you're really racing down the face of a wave trying to outrun one eye, I'm not sure if you've ever been in Mauritius, but it's a fast wave and if you want to outrun a fast wave you need a fast board that controls really well at those high speeds. All our boards uh, basically come, well basically all our boards come with a thruster fin setup they are FCS2 plugs, so that means that once you're on your travels it's really easy to just take the fins out, slide it in the board bag if you're limited on space. They're super easy to take out and yeah, I really enjoy the setup. I think, uh, oh yeah, then for the people that like to ride with straps, our green room is also our only board that features strap. Sorry, no, it <laughs> the Ripper does as well. Um, so both the green room and the ripper, they both feature straps. Um, due to weight reduction, we wanted to get the 720 as light as possible. That's the only one that doesn't do straps. Cool. And those are in. Those are full-on threaded inserts. Yeah, those are full-on so threaded you don't inserts. Have to worry about pulling yeah. them out, right? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you have the the plastic inserts with the self-tapping screws, yeah. then. You use them multiple times and after a while they start wearing out. Yeah. So we went with these for durability. So this is the, the SLC foil. Um, as, you, as you can see, it's my, my foil of choice. <laughs> um, O5 
over here, what we try to do is make a foil that's really accessible. A lot of the times when you look on the foil market, you have a 580 front wing or this front wing and the width changes all the time and then you need to pair it with a certain stabilizer otherwise it's gonna ride in a weird way. For us we wanted to make it simple, accessible and something that makes you feel confident on the water and that's what we created with, um, with the SLC in my opinion. We have two front wing sizes, it's a 1250 or a thousand square centimeter front wing and the stabilizer stays the same on every one of them. And you're going to notice that with this stabilizer you're going to have a very nice front foot pressure that gradually increases and this it's not full of surprises so when you once you take this foil out it's not that it's going to drop you into the water all of a sudden when you reach your stall speed it's very easy to get the wing out so if you're riding and chop for instance and you're on an edge if the wing pops out of the water it's not gonna stall out or suck in all the air all of a sudden and make you fall it's very controllable and that's what i really like about this board the pitch stability is especially interesting for beginners because you know how once you start foiling and you have that full-on dolphin going on um, it's nicer if you have a pitch table board sorry pitch table foil for the board itself um, we have a full-on carbon board it comes in the sizes of 115 125 and 135 the 135 is very nice for the heavier guys for the for the beginners because you do have that nose that really helps you out once you get out of the water and dive down uh, personally I really like the 125 for me it gives a very nice mix of getting out of the water, having a touchdown and still being able to recover from it. The 115 starts diving a little bit more. So yeah, if you make a mistake, most likely you're gonna end up in the water. What I really enjoy about these boards is they're, they're just rock solid. They, they will not bend, they will not flex on you. So you get a very direct feedback on these boards. They again come with threaded inserts I've seen people, well, I also pull kite loops on these, these things, I haven't broken a board, they're super solid and I think uh, you're really going to enjoy this from a full-on beginner to a very experienced rider, you're going to find confidence in the riding style, like for me these, these foils are confidence inspiring when I'm out there. The mast sizes, the mast as you can see um, is aluminium. We didn't go with carbon because carbon gets really expensive and if you want to have a carbon mast that's really stiff it's actually not much lighter than an aluminium mast. Um, on smaller wing sizes it's usually not such a problem to have a bit more of a flexi mast with carbon but as soon as you go on bigger wing sizes and I think especially with wing foiling um, sometimes you have a carbon mast and your board goes for a turn but your foil still wants to go straight and I think we have the perfect mix with this aluminium mast. They're very easily interchangeable. So we have a, a 92, a 71 and a 60 mast, if I'm correct. Might have to look up on that. Maybe you can uh, <laughs> put them in the screen somewhere here. <laughs> there's just two? Okay, so there's just two. It's a 71 centimeter mast and a 92 mast. But with that, you'll be able to find what you want, especially the beginners, you just go for the mast. It's a very cheap extra and even the mast base is interchangeable. So that makes it very easy to get a beginner set up that you can easily add 90 mast for a low cost. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for taking through that. Um, we should check out your wings soon too. Yeah, I think so. So that will be it for the kite part then I guess. That's it for the kite board, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we're pretty stoked on core and this, we had the opportunity to ride these in the fall last year yep. and uh, we're stu super stoked on how easy they were to ride and how stable, so it's amazing that you guys came out with it right out of the gate with like such a good uh, foiling product. 
Yeah, I know I know Jan, the, the foil designer, quite well, and I know how much time he spent on these. Yeah. And um, yeah, for me, I, I came from a less pitch stable board or a foil brand, and riding this, like I say, it's just confidence inspiring. You're out there, you're, it's not gonna do weird things, it's not gonna drop out on you, and yeah, I love, love riding it for that reason. Cool, well thanks for taking us through that. Pleasure. <laughs>